Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We got a 1980 Trans Am today that uh, the owner had bought way up north and uh, is in the middle of restoring it. It's a great survivor car. Uh, for 1980, the thing's in really good shape. It has been driven, as most of them have been. You know, not many of them were stored back in the day. So, we believe this is either a W6, WS6 car or a J65. So, we're going to dig into that. And we're going to show you around the interior and uh, a few other things. So, let's get into it. So, I seem to be on a roll with these cars and no RPO sheets. And I'm not really sure why. Not to point everyone bad luck, but... So this is, this car, like I said, was bought up north. It uh, had no console in it. It was pretty rough. I guess the guy before him was in the, pro in the process of trying to restore this uh, when he bought it. And um, so, you know, the, obviously that's why the console doesn't match the, the dash and whatnot. But we'll bring you in. We'll let you look at it and whatnot. Just a really good, clean survivor. Um and a good base to restore this thing. So as you can see, the floors are in really great shape in this thing. You know, there's not a lot of not a lot of rot, right? That's pretty common for these cars under the sill plates and whatnot. But so we had to put the, he had to put this console in. But you know, overall, it's a pretty clean car for an eighty that's been driven, right? Into the back seat here, and uh, you know, overall, right? It's pretty clean. So, there's a lot of road noise here today, guys, so I do apologize, but this is what the interior looks like. So, if I dig into the trunk, not a lot going on in here. Right? With the original spare. Factory T top. Those are, those bags are, seem to be harder and harder to find. So it's good to see that this thing's got the original bags for it. Right? And uh, we dug through this carpet. And there is no RPO sheet in here. But I mean, this is a fellow, this is a fellow follower of the channel. So. I know a lot of information about this car already just by the just by talking to him before we start taping and, and whatnot but yeah, like it's just a solid car right so um we're gonna go over into the motor here this originally was a 4.9 non-turbo car and uh somebody put a 350 in it and uh, we're going to start her up here in a second. doesn't run the greatest. He's still doing a tune-up and whatnot on it. But if we look at the... Because I don't have a RPO sheet. And I'm trying to get you guys the... You can see that this has got WS4. I don't know if you guys can see that. But it's got WS4. So this is a Trans Am. It's not... And... Uh, couple other coats here, A51, OR2, uh, Body by Fisher, and then the build number. Um, here's the VIN. And uh, so this is, so I found out, this is a J65 card. It's not a WS6 because it, if it was a WS6, it would say it on that build plate. It's just a WS4 uh, Trans Am with a, with a J65. And if you didn't know, you could buy, uh, you could order this car with just the J65 option instead of the WS6. If you didn't want to dish out all the money for the suspension and whatnot, you could just get the J65 to give you the rear disc because it came stock with the rear drums. So as I mentioned to you before, this had a 4.9 non-turbo in it originally. And uh, somebody, uh, actually, 
the follower who owned this car, uh, I believe, put the 350 in this. Um, or maybe the previous owner. I don't remember which one it was. But uh, the, the 409, the 301s were just, you know, they were pretty much gutless. And this thing's got a bit more power to it. You know, it's just a regular run-of-the-mill 350, but runs a lot better, right? So, overall, I think this is a great project car for uh, something to build on where you can, you know, where you can restore it, right? It's got great bones to it. You know, the body on it, as I mentioned, is solid. So, you know, another great, uh, another great survivor that we can see on the road. guys i just want to say a special thanks to will for letting me come out and do this video for you guys this is a great little project it's got a solid foundation for a project and you can almost leave this paint as is you know it's not perfect paint but it's a 1980 right it's been through a lot and it's survived a lot so you know i would almost leave this paint as is you know what clean it up finish the interior and enjoy it right so can't wait to see this one finished but before we go I got another one real quick that I want to show you guys is coming up with the channel that I didn't even know was here. And I am super excited to see this thing. Guys, this is a 1981 Pontiac Turbo Trans Am. And while it doesn't look like it's in the greatest shape, this is a pretty rare car. With these Recaro seats, I think. This option car, there's only 2,000 of them ever made. But it's not what it looks like on the outside. It's what's in the under the hood that's exciting. I'm just going to give you a little glimpse of it because we're not ready to show this off yet. But this is what's coming. We'll give you a little peek. See that? Come here, let me show you a little more. In there. One there. All right, fine. We'll show you the whole thing. Stay tuned, guys. It's coming out soon.